hello 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 today we are going to learn how to mount a file to prepare a case bound book or a hardcover book using kodak preps version 9 so when you take the kodak preps there are three key interfaces with the pages the assembly and the press run so to prepare a case bound book first we need to add our stock our stock which we are going to use the stock size which we are going to print on so we are going to select the stock size we are going to use So we've selected our stock and to add a stock you just double click. You go to product intent and a new product we give it a name. So case bound book or hardcover. It will change here. The job ID is based on the year, the month and the day. Then we assign a three digit number. The customer name and one is due. So when you are using the print link in Printergy Evo or Connect, you send it, all these details will be sent into the Speedmaster or the KBA machine. Then you just call it during your printing. So let's go to parts. So the parts we are doing for the test, we are not taking care of the cover for now. And the total number of pages which we are working on is 512 pages. The size is quarto, 180 mm by 240. Then the largest section, pages in a section is 16 pages per section, which will give us 32 sets, 32 signatures. The media, we are using the press sheet. If you have a Speedmaster, a 102, a 74, you select the size. Then, we are going to select the, all the 32 sections. You click on one, the first one, you press shift, you click one, you scroll down, you press shift, you click on the last one to select all. And we apply a fold pattern, how your folding is going to look like. So in this instance, we are using the JDF. There are two fold patterns in this. You can also create your own fold patterns. You have the JDF and you have the MBO. So we flip our page pattern, that's the fold pattern. And we've seen it. So in this, we are going to do insertion of three signatures. Then it will be placed on top of each other. So we've done drag it. Immediately you drag, you see a green line, meaning it's ready for dropping. So we've done the first set, which we have three sets. And you will see the page numbers for each. Let's take the next ones. You drag, green, you drop. You drag, green, you drop. You scroll down. You drag, drop. You drag, drop. So by the time we are done, you should be getting about 11 sets, one inserted, ready for stitching. Have you seen something? When you place it on top, you double the pages. But you are not placing on top because we can take eight pages to view. So 
so we've done our entire dragon of the pages so we will set three 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 each the third one the fourth one the fifth one sixth seventh eight nine and ten so we have eleven in all and you will see the starting pages so here is ending at 48 this one will start at 49 in that order so we've done our insertions and we've placed so it's a combination of saddle stitch and perfect binding but we are going to sew so we are not doing perfect binding in position scheme here you select you generate press once then you are pinned on this so that's how it will look like that's how in position for a case bound book you delete this so we have 32 cells to print 32 cells to collate but we have 11 cells to sew that's what it means Look at our pages. So let's add a file. The file is called Learning Preps. We are creating a dummy file step by step. The total number of pages is 512. The size is 180 mm by 240 mm you click ok so we are going to drop we drag it and drop it we select the file then you drop it so our 512 pages I'll be immediately you click the properties of the page also pop up on your right hand side so we go to press run you've seen that the file has been loaded you can also enter the run length if you want to So at this stage we are going to add our marks but because you've generated a press run you select the mark you right click then you add to all press runs if you double click it will appear only on the selected page but you right click and you add to all press run the marks will be added to the entire number of sections We've added our crop marks. We've added our fold marks for folding purposes, crop marks for trimming purposes. But this is not a perfect bound book. And immediately you select the mark. If it's applied, you will see that here will change to blue color on the left side under marks if it's applied it will change to blue color if it's not applied it will remain as gray until you apply it so we will add our slack line you see immediately we selected perfect bound collation marks it has changed to blue color it means it has been applied so we are done with our imposition there's the assembly view
then we have our pages view you can collapse everything and we can also expand we can convert it from this to test mode we just a click and you see the starting page and the ending page for each So now let's print our imposition as a PDF using Control P. We click print, rename it case bound book. Then we save it. We are printing our imposition. Okay. It was prompting us that we have a placeholder, not an actual file. So let's go to our folder and see case bound book. The mounted file is there. Let's open our imposition to see the outcome. So 32 sets, you can see 64 page on the right. So this is how our imposition was going to look like. So as because of the insertion, as you're moving, the gaps in the middle will be closing. Can you see? Observe. As you are moving, the gaps in the middle will be closing. Which tells us that we are doing an insertion, then we place one on top of each other. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe my channel.